No, you walked in and you right away started rocking to it. So I'm going to tell you, John O's playing tonight. I'm going to tell John O's he was in the studio yesterday. I'm going to tell him you, Dennis Quaid, have given it a green light. You uh, like it? I love them. Yeah, I love I love their music to begin with. Yeah. Oh, well, listen, you know, I saw your band live. I saw you guys. I think it was at a Key Club. The uh, and you get I, you blew me away. We I had no fun. idea what to expect. You got you walked out there and you just go. You were barefoot too. I know. We're, it makes me feel like I'm a, in my living room. We're we're a dance band. That's what we do. You we are, get yeah. people up. Yeah, you do. Get them moving. Yeah, you do. It's unbelievable. Uh, Dennis Quaid in the studio. Oh man, the right stuff. The Big Easy, Inner Space, Great Balls of Fire, Wyatt Earp, Any Given Sunday, Traffic, The Rookie, Far from Heaven, The Alamo, Good Company, Smart People. And I'm just leaving. I'm leaving like a hundred thousand. No, we don't miles. have enough time for we you don't. to go through my credits. You it's don't. Not real. You don't. Yeah. Uh, we have a great tie-in with uh, a guy you work with. I love the movie um, the Wyatt Earp. I love Wyatt Earp. Oh, thank you. I'm a big freak of Wyatt Earp, and we'll do the in- intro. It'll make some sense to you in a second. Live from downtown Chicago. It's the Jonathan Brandmeier Show. Kevin Costner's on the line. Mr. Costner, how are you today, sir? I'm fine. Oh, by the way, just before you got on, we were just playing this from Wyatt Earp. Because I always play this because I have uh, four brothers, and this is our favorite scene from Wyatt Earp. Why does it always have to be the brothers? The brothers together. <laughs> we are your wives. Don't we ever count more than the damn brothers? No, Bessie, you don't. There you go. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's, I got Doc Holliday in here now. That's right. Oh, man. I can't believe it. Okay, we were just, Dennis, we are talking about that. Everyone who knows me hates me. You know what I mean? The other one who knows me hates me. How? Okay, here's what we were saying about you doing that. How you, when you commit to something like that, you got to commit because that's going to kill your throat. You're a singer. You're a, you, this is your whole tool. Well, I had to I had to lose weight for that, and then I went a little overboard. I think I lost forty four pounds for that. Oh, you looked horrible in there. Yeah, you could see my skull. You could see your yeah. skull, your bones. But that was Doc. So, and, but but you it, that may be that's tough to lose the weight, but to commit to the voice, to commit to boom. that voice just came up, came up from somewhere. Everybody, hates me. everybody hates me. You're a good friend of me, Doc. Shut up. Okay, here's uh, something. The new film, The Express, about Ernie Davis, the first black player to win the Heisman Trophy. You, Dennis Quaid, play the coach. Yeah, right? Ben Schwartzwalder. I won't ask you to pronounce it. Ben Schwartzwalder. Oh, oh excellent. I couldn't Very good. Yeah. You must ben, be in radio. Ben Schwartzwalder. I could do that. Excellent. You can do it, too. Go ahead. Ben Schwartzwalder. That sounds better that way, doesn't it? This is a great story, by the way. Ernie Davis, first black to win the Heisman Trophy. Never played for the team, though. He, went, he, he was drafted by the Browns? Yeah, uh, yeah, well, he was drafted by, actually, uh, Washington, but uh, the, the owner of Washington's team actually did money black players on his, te- on his team. So he sold him to Cleveland, which was just fine with Ernie Davis because Jim Brown was there, who was also at Syracuse, and it was, uh, it was his hero. They were going to be the dream backfield. Uh, with, with, with Dennis Quaid, you have the six degrees of Dennis Quaid because maybe this helped you in the movie, maybe it didn't. You work with Jim Brown in mm, Any Given Sunday. In, any Given Sunday. So, and you well, you knew Jim Brown? You hung out with Jim Brown? Uh, Jim Brown, uh, when we were doing Any Given Sunday, we didn't start working until noon. So every morning at Doral Golf Course, it would be myself, Jim Brown, Lawrence Taylor, and uh, Jimmy Woods trying to get in each other's pocket on the golf course. What a force of oh, you're making good. Oh, It was good. What a force of yeah. that is. Who's the heaviest gambler in that group? Who loves to gamble the most? In Lawrence your group, Taylor. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Well, well, yeah. well, without a without a pause, Lawrence Taylor. You didn't even blink on yeah. that one. Yeah. Uh, but but wait. Uh, Jim Brown was like my greatest resource for uh, Ben Schwartzwalder because he played with him. They had rather a, a abrasive relationship, uh, you know, along with a respectful one at, right. at the same time. Right. But he told me the way it was back there in, uh, in the 50s and uh, being you know, a black athlete at uh, an all-white school. Yeah, there was. I mean, you saw it, segregation. And by the way, the, I guess the coach, uh, the the guy you play, Ben Schwartzwalder, right? Right. You had some. You had to decide. Well, when we watch the movie, will we think is he a racist? Was he a racist? Well, uh, in today's terms, uh, you might. I think he would might be termed that. Ben was also a, a groundbreaker in a sense. He was one of the first coaches to. Uh, to actively recruit African American athletes for his team, right? Uh, this is true or false? Then he refused to let uh, Ernie Davis score in a game against West Virginia, right? Because they right. wanted to be violent. It was some... Well, it was a, it was a very dangerous situation. They were right. playing down in uh, West Virginia, and uh, Ben was actually from West Virginia, and uh, they were throwing uh, bottles and all kinds of uh, things at uh, at uh, the athletes out there on the field. And if if he had scored, it could have actually 
gotten violent. And he was, he was, con- Ben was concerned for the team. Ben was the toughest nails, uh, type of old school coach. You know, he came from the military. He was one I of love the soldiers. Old that, yeah, he was one of the soldiers that actually hit the beach in Normandy at D Day. Yeah. And, uh, he brought that to his, his coaching technique. And I, I do, I love that old school coach. I love that. I don't like the guy. I don't like, I like, we have the coach here in Chicago that just talks too quiet. He's too, it's okay. You yeah. Know, I won't get him next. I, I like it. I like that. I like the old school. I do. Too. You know what I mean? I like the boom. You yeah. know what I mean? You get out there. You get out there and hit. Hit it. Cindy, will you please call that nurse? This doesn't work. I'm a football player. They got to pump up the volume here. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I, yeah, I love That's that. old school. That's old school right there. In any given Sunday, you know, the wife's, you're going to get back out there and you're going to play something. Like, hey. No, especially the, especially the bitch slap she gave me, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, can we go back to golfing for one second, if we may? All right. Okay, guys, I picture you golfing. Now, Dennis uh, Quaid, Golf Digest named you the top golfer among the Hollywood set. Yeah, that was like, what, two years ago? Yeah, but so what? Is, is it still? The, is it wasn't it... really real either. Well, that's my question. Yeah. Who's the Hollywood set? Uh, th- there's several that could. Who golf? There's probably several that could have taken me at that time. And uh, I was scratch for about uh, two months, and then I started working nonstop and uh, had twins, and that was the end yeah. of that. So I'm about a seven right now who have you played okay who have yeah. you played with in hollywood you think is good uh see uh, greg kinnear is a uh, excellent really yeah he's very good all right great yeah, mark Wahlberg uh, can uh, really hit the ball you know i just that saw him guy hit the is, ball on yeah, entourage he's a maniac Did you, you watch entourage yeah. yeah i saw it last night he, where yeah, he, he has where a great he, swing right? he's left-handed i couldn't believe he was a yeah, lefty and he can he can hit it 325 340 he has a really good game the express opens october 10th Dennis Quaid plays Ben Schwartzwalder, Davis's coach at Syracuse University. Also the man who coached Jimmy Brown. The Express opens October 10th, starring that great man right there, Dennis Quaid. Take your kids. It's PG. Everyone loves him. Everyone who knows me hates me. Well, whatever. <laughs> you shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. All right. Yeah, you nah. a man Have a good day, everybody. Keep on my wheel. Yeah. What a thrill. Balls of fire. <laughs>